Hello and welcome back. My name is Amulya and you are watching Tube Mint. In this video, I'm going to explain how uh, this Jinja templating language works in Django framework and we will extend the uh, pages and start using Jinja to create content dynamically. So we are uh, we have already used Jinja in Django project. So in previous video, if you haven't watched, learn Django by creating a blogging app. So Django 3. So if you watched that video, you can see we are already using Jinja, but this is very base, okay? So we are not using a lot of things, the basic stuff of Jinja, like to extend a template and supply content to that template the base template so we are going to create a base template and then we are going to supply content to that base template from index.html and single.html so you can see we are already using jinja this is basically jinja so in jinja any code that you do not want to display on the web page will be in this these um curly braces and modulo sign okay anything that you want to display is going to be in double curly braces so this is what you want to display the title will be in the double curly braces so that's the basic of Jinja syntax I guess that's going to be the very basic there are a lot of things that you can learn from as per requirement from this page here the documentation page so let's see how we can start using the template and extend that template to other pages and supply content to that base template from single.html and index.html so to do so we are going to create a base.html in the existing project from previous video so if you haven't watched my previous video learn Django 3 by building a blogging application or app and if you're wondering how what I did in the previous video go ahead and watch my previous video and then come back to this video so let's go ahead and save this file to uh, name it base.html and here we are going to keep everything that is going to be common on almost all the pages okay so this application is already running in the browser so if you just come back here and have a look at the uh, the elements the source you can see this is a default HTML and this doesn't have any doc type doesn't have any language attribute title and so on so forth so let's go ahead and put those thing in the base dot HTML set so that this can be applied to index dot HTML and single dot HTML as well okay so very first thing we want to create HTML5 or doc type and basic skeleton of HTML and here we want to create block blocks for uh, this application that are going to be common to most of the pages okay so the very first block that we are going to create and use is going to be the title block so you simply say block I'm using a plugin in this um, sublime text that helps me write Jinja dynamically so you can see here so I will have to name it okay so the name of the block is going to be the title and with this name it's going to be identifiable on other pages and content can be passed to this block from other pages with this title name with the name of the block okay okay now this is completely optional you can say block title and end block without this name but this is uh, 
automatically created with this plugin that I'm using with sublime text and it works so I'm not going to waste my time deleting it okay so here we are we will need one more um, block for the actual content okay the content is going to be the list of blog posts and single blog post as well so we are going to create a block again and this is going to be the name of the block I'm going to name it content now this is the base like minimal base for this application you can go ahead and put the um, the common files for this application on this base.html like style sheet you can keep it here I like if you want if you have any and then scripts here javascripts here that's totally your choice and preference where you want to keep your files static files okay here we go once that's created we are going to work on these pages like single.html and index.html so first we will extend that base.html to every page okay so there is a com uh, a command that's basically extends the any template so we want to extend the base.html and this is going to be on every page wherever you want to supply the data from to the base.html so we want to supply data from index.html and single.html so that has to be on every page wherever you want to supply data from then we are going to create those two uh, blocks on this particular page so it depends what block you need on certain page okay so on this page we will definitely need the uh, title okay so we will have to similarly type the name of that block and then supply data from here to that particular base.html we will also require this on base or single.html so every uh, single post will have the title and this is going to be dynamic this is going to be kind of st static i would say like manual thing so um, here we are going to supply the data dynamically here we are going to keep it manual because this is a list page so i can say demo blog list page okay and on the single we want to use the double curly braces to display data okay and here we will say single dot title that's going to be the title of every single post then we need one more uh, block to supply the content the actual content of the page to the base.html so we will create another block and we will give the same name which is on the uh, which is on the where base to html and similarly here as well so anything between these starting and ending block we can have the data that you want to display here we go so now this this uh, is going to be it for this application now if we go ahead and refresh it you, we will see a few changes here so the first thing is this is single dot 
HTML and it's displaying the title of the particular uh, blog post. If you go back to the home page, the index.html, it displays the um, the manually typed uh, title. And here, if you look at the elements, you can see it says doc type HTML, which is HTML5. This also has the language attribute, and now you have the title and character set attribute as well. So those are being basically uh, generated dynamically with with this Jinja template. On the single page, you want to give the name or the the website name or the title. So I can say demo blog let's say that's the name of your website and this will display on every blog post okay here you can see alrighty so that's it for this video I hope you are able to understand the basic concepts of using Jinja templating language if you have any questions suggestions leave in the comment below i will try to answer it asap thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe to my channel have a good day and bye for now